Well, hello there, and good evening, uh, YouTube. I'm uh, William Brantley, uh, reporting uh, live from uh, South Jackson, Tennessee, uh, ready to share with you today's uh, climate summary and give you a forecast for the next few days momentarily. Turned out to be a very beautiful day today here in Jackson and West Tennessee, and that's going to continue for at least a few more hours. <laughs> uh, we may have a few more clouds to have to deal with tomorrow. It'd be kind of very be cloudy, uh, uh, probably uh, somewhere around midnight tonight, and then on till about mid morning tomorrow morning. And that they may actually become fair briefly from about mid morning tomorrow till roughly uh, late tomorrow afternoon and it might be kind of very cloudy again by then uh, but uh, no rains in the forecast until maybe uh, Wednesday morning prior to uh, sunrise and that will be in a scenario of thunderstorms approaching our area but sort of fizzling out as it approaches us so that doesn't mean we won't get any rain but the best chance appears roughly i'd say between 3 a.m to around sunrise wednesday morning late tuesday night wednesday morning at this time and beyond that we got a great uh, fair skies coming up after that for the rest of the week kind of give you a little hint toward the forecast there give you more details on that as I go along, of course. Today turned out to be a beautiful day, like I mentioned, good and sunny. Still is clear skies out there. We have a few clouds trying to move toward our direction from Arkansas, but uh, they may, like I said, become cloudy uh, around 9 o'clock and after, if possible. But until then, at least, fair skies will continue. As of 5 p.m. here in the Bemis area, the temperature with clear skies at that time, and still are clear, uh, is clear, I'm, whichever one's most appropriate. 84 degrees was the temperature as of uh, 5 p.m. As of 6.57 p.m., it's down to 81 degrees here in the Bemis area as of right now. At 5 p.m., the dew point was 62 degrees. The humidity was at uh, 48%. We had variable winds at uh, variable directional winds at six miles per hour, and the barometric pressure 29.98 inches of mercury as of 5 p.m. The uh, low temperature today here in the Bemis area was 61 degrees. Uh, today's high made it up to 85 degrees. Hey, it's managing to stay below 90. <laughs> So far, that may be changing around about Wednesday or Thursday, though. Uh, no rainfall, of course, uh, since midnight. I'm holding at uh, 3.70 for the month of May and 31.12 for the year 2019 so far. Today's lowest humidity would be 48%, and that occurred at 4 and 5 p.m. The highest would be 100%. And that occurred at 12, 2, and then 4 through 6 a.m. this morning. Incidentally, at least at the Jackson Airport, uh, the fog, uh, we had some area of fog this morning, early around the 6 a.m. hour, I, I believe it was, and, and the airport's visibility dropped down to about a quarter of a mile there this morning at about 6 a.m. this morning. Uh, I thought I'd share that as well. Uh, lowest dew point temperature today was 57 degrees, and that occurred at 11 a.m. The highest would be 70 degrees, and that occurred at 12 a.m. Lowest barometric pressure would be 29.97 inches, and that occurred at 1 a.m., while the highest would be 30.08 inches, and that occurred at 10 and 11 a.m. this morning. Today's highest wind gust was uh, 14 miles per hour out of the southwest at about 9 a.m. this morning, around that time frame, or since midnight anyways. Today's records for May the 20th, uh, hottest high would be 93, 
1964 and 2006. It tied in 2006. Uh, coolest high would be 67 in 1993. The warmest low would be 71 in the year 2013. Uh, make that 70, not 71. 70 degrees would be the warmest low in the year 2013. And then tied in 2017. And the coldest low would be 43 in the year uh, 2007. Alrighty. Uh, the rainfall record for today would be one and a half inches, 1.50, in 1984 and 2016. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Uh, yesterday's, uh, I'll go ahead and give you yesterday's uh, West Tennessee's temperature extremes. For yesterday, it was 64 degrees. Shared at several locations uh, here in Bemis, in Bolivar, Covington, uh, National Weather Service Office in Memphis, Jackson, Tennessee's airport, uh, Lexington, Tennessee's airport, uh, Paris, Tennessee, Union City, Tennessee, and at Selmer, Tennessee. <laughs> several locations uh, yesterday had a low of 64 degrees in West Tennessee. Well, the hottest was 84 degrees at the uh, Memphis, Tennessee's uh, airport, and then again at uh, the Somerville, Tennessee airport. And again, that's for yesterday, May the 19th. Again, today's low and high for here in Bemis, at least, was 61 and a high of 85. All right, uh, now let's move on to a few uh, uh, forecast graphs and radar and. Uh, Go from there. There's nothing on the radar at the moment here in West Tennessee. <coughs> Skies are still clear and probably will remain so for most of the evening. It might be later on tonight uh, after 9 o'clock, if not later than that, before the skies uh, might become very cloudy to mostly cloudy and on into, like I said, tomorrow morning. Uh, right now, nothing on the radar, like I mentioned. Nothing in West Tennessee or Middle Tennessee for that matter. Now let me branch you, zoom out one more loop. And i uh, let you see that it's pretty well clear here in West Tennessee. A good part of uh, Eastern Arkansas and in Middle Tennessee as well. Let me scoot this over and make sure there's nothing in East Tennessee. Nope, uh, it's clear over there too. Uh, at least uh, no way to our echoes, I'll put it that way. Now, in that sense, like I, I like teasing and calling it uh, way to our empty <laughs> of echoes, anyways. Uh, I don't believe you have to go too far west, though, to pick up some of those heavy thunderstorms that uh, some of the media sources are talking about. I'll show you some of that right here. Let me branch it out just a little bit. Uh, Missouri's going to get it tomorrow. Now look out, Missouri. <laughs> Tonight it's over in Texas and uh, Oklahoma where they're getting a lot of severe weather. A little bit down there near Low Rock, Arkansas, north of there, but that's dissipating and probably will end up dying out down there. Uh, but there's heavier parts over here in the Plain States. It's all heading up into the northern half of Missouri, it looks like. And that'd be where the severest weather will be probably tomorrow. Not around here. And the line of storms goes all the way down to the western sections of uh, Florida, as you, uh, not Florida, Midland, Texas, and Big Springs, Texas, and that area. And it, as you see, it's scattered through it, out that area out there. Now this area here I got focused on has an actually a high risk of severe thunderstorms and possible tornadoes uh, most of the afternoon today and tonight and the ships on over into Arkansas about where this I've got it cut off at uh, for tomorrow 
and the risk is, uh, I believe it's enhanced over there in Arkansas tomorrow, but it is not expected to move into West Tennessee by tomorrow night or Thursday. Weather is going to go up this way, up toward Missouri and Illinois, and actually decrease as it moves east. The severest threat of severe weather is not expected to move into West Tennessee, uh, period. The high risk definitely is not expected. Uh, we'll be close uh, early Wednesday morning, like I said, between about midnight to sunrise, but uh, that would be along the Mississippi River where the greatest threat will be at that time. But uh, right now, it looks like Jackson might escape the severest weather threat at this time. Uh, of course, things could change between now and tomorrow, too. Uh, let me uh, branch this out one more time, get an almost national look at it, that you see how far north it extends. It extends all the way up to our, through Missouri, of course. It's pretty heavy over there in northwestern Missouri and, and northern Oklahoma, as you can see, and uh, points from there. Nothing here in Tennessee, like I mentioned, and you'll get another view of that here in just a minute when I look at the current surface map from the Weather Channel. Alright, uh, let me move on to the satellite picture which uh, shows uh, the clouds uh, out there in the Plains States moving up through Missouri. This was really cloudy. That little area right there in the center you're approaching Memphis, that may be the cloud cover that might give us a few clouds between midnight, uh, 9 p.m. and midnight. Uh, maybe it won't be too bad. Otherwise, it's going to be stay, stay pretty fair. But if the skies become cloudy around 9 or 10 o'clock tonight on till past midnight, that'll be the reason for it right there. Otherwise, the nation looks uh, reasonably decent. Well, 50-50 looks like for the whole nation. Uh, half of it's cloudy and half of it's clear. <laughs> And some in between been partly cloudy. That's the whole, the whole nation the way it looks for the past uh, uh, 12 hours here in the United States. Fairly decent down in uh, Mexico and down in the islands and a few clouds off the east coast, way out in the Atlantic, and so on down the line. But nothing here in Tennessee. At uh, least right now, at least. Uh, current surface map, uh, according to the Weather Channel, has a warm front getting ready to move through uh, shortly. It's going to be noticeably warmer starting tomorrow and on through the weekend. We're going to finally actually hit, once again, uh, the 90 degree mark. We've already hit it one time. That was in April. I forgot the exact date. I looked it up the other day and I forgot to write it down. But we've hit 90 degrees one time during the month of April and we're fixing to hit it uh, four or five times before too long, or before the Memorial Day weekend's over, anyways. Uh, here's another look at those storms that we just saw a moment ago, stretching from uh, Oklahoma up through Missouri to southern tip of uh, Iowa, as you can see, thank courtesy of that uh, uh, warm front that's getting ready to move through. It was a cold front, but it's changing over to a warm front, as you can see. You can see there the areas where really uh, not all that all that much rain going on except right here in the center there. There in Missouri seems to have the heaviest and of course Oklahoma. It's scattered around in other parts of the country. There you see all those lows out west. Boy, there's a lot of them there. Looks like what, five, six of them? <laughs> Good gracious. A lot of them. And that's the country as of right now pointing to the uh, weather channel. All right, let's look at uh, tomorrow's uh, forecast map, nationally speaking. The rain is still going to be to our west, of course, even tomorrow, despite we may have a few clouds tomorrow. The uh, warm front is still down near Memphis, hadn't quite moved through yet, as you can see. There you see the other map features. Uh, heavy rain is still out to our west and parts of the plain states as you can see. Fairly moderate and heavy there in Oklahoma and Kansas, pretty widespread there. There's even the chance for some snow. 
over there in Colorado in the mountains and, and uh, Wyoming and a little mix there in northeastern Wyoming. My goodness. Uh, snow and sleet up in here and, and tornadoes and serious thunderstorms in this area all within about three or four hundred miles of each other. It's crazy, isn't it? And some snow is possible over here in the western states too in the mountains. Boy, the weather's getting crazy here in uh, and uh, late uh, May, is it, is it not? <laughs> but again, this is for tomorrow morning nationwide. Midday, I don't think it changes a whole lot. Uh, except for the threat of uh, severe thunderstorms. Shows up a little bit uh, over here in uh, northwestern Arkansas. Is where that way it is. In western Missouri, that looks like that's going to be the main threat tomorrow. For severe weather to west of West Tennessee. Could be pretty heavy up in that area. And it thinks that warm front that finally moves through between sunrise and noon tomorrow here in West Tennessee. And there you see what's uh, steady and moderate rain uh, in the northern plain states and where that's taking place. And how kind of close the snow and the sleet is. <laughs> over there in the mountains of Wyoming, Colorado. Look how close that is. Snow and sleet over here and severe thunderstorms right in here. My goodness. Not that terribly far from each other. And that's again for midday tomorrow. Talk about a mixed bag of weather. My goodness. And here in Tennessee, we're still lucky. Nothing. At least not nothing bad anyways. Except for maybe a few clouds. I'm not even sure how much of those that we're going to get at the moment. By tomorrow night, uh, the threat of severe weather kind of dissipates. Still have some steady to moderate rain in parts of uh, Missouri. A little narrow band through Arkansas there. And the warm front has uh, moved up further north, as you can see. And it looks like uh, still snowing in parts of Wyoming. <laughs> in the northern plains, states are still raining. And there you see where the rain is scattered uh, in parts of uh, the U.S. tomorrow night. All right, that's a uh, view of tomorrow night's uh, forecast map. Now let's look at the Pacific forecast for the next few days. Uh, right here in Jackson and West Tennessee. As you saw, I say the national forecast. Uh, forecast. Let me get make this adjustment here. Um, let me see. Bring this down so I can read it a little bit better. All right, uh, fair skies for the remainder of the night. There might be a few clouds moving in, like I said, after about 9 p.m., but it won't be much. It'll be mainly fair skies, though, for the most part, until at least after midnight. Then it's going to be very cloudy after that till around sunrise and then becoming fair again tomorrow till about sunset or tomorrow night and then become very cloudy once again. In and out, back and forth. That's why I'm calling it very cloudy. It's going to be some periods of clear skies, partly cloudy skies, and literally cloudy skies briefly. It's going to be tossing back and forth. All right, uh, the sun sets tonight at 7.57 p.m. Rises tomorrow morning at uh, 5.46 a.m. The moon will be rising tonight at 9.56 p.m. And setting at 7.15 a.m. tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning's low should be around 65 degrees. Tomorrow's high should be about 89 degrees, almost 90. With south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Again, the sun rises at 5.46 a.m., sets at 7.57 p.m. tomorrow night, almost 8 o'clock. Moon rises tomorrow night at 10.51 p.m. and sets at 8.03 a.m. Wednesday morning. Speaking of Wednesday, which is going to be the greatest chance, right now the chance is only 40% technically. It's not all that high. Very cloudy on Wednesday, most of the day with a 40% chance of a few showers and thunderstorms by about noon. And now it looks like it may be noontime uh, before the uh, thunderstorms may become most active. So that's changed a little bit from what I told you earlier. All right, that could change though. Might be better to say any time between midnight and noon. Maybe it'd be a better way to put it. And then there's gonna be fair skies by uh, Wednesday night. 
I know that's a little confusing for you. So I'm going to go with the one I got on, uh, on my forecast page of uh, showers and thunderstorms holding off to about Wednesday afternoon and then clearing up by Wednesday night and becoming fair. Low near 70 and a high of 86 with south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. And then on Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, uh, Thursday, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep saying Tuesday. Thursday, I meant Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Memorial Day itself, and Tuesday of next week, all those days should be fair skies. It should be real nice and warm. Uh, for example, lows will be right around 69 to 70, 68 to 70 each morning. And uh, the highs are going to be right around 90, 91 degrees each day, possibly as high as 92 by Sunday. And uh, Monday, Monday Memorial Day itself, 70 and 91 for the low and high. Southwest winds are 10 to 20. Sun rises on that day at 5.42 a.m. and sets at 8.02 p.m. And 71.92 next Tuesday, the day after, May the 28th, uh, Memorial Day it is. <clears throat> By Wednesday of next week, it'll be back to very cloudy till noon, then fair. Lower 72, high of 89, with southwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour. All right, that's a look at the next uh, nine days forecast for you. And once again, at this time, it appears that uh, our best shot of rain <coughs> has looked like a Wednesday afternoon. Maybe as early as uh, between midnight and noon. I'll go ahead and throw that in there just to play it safe. But I think the best chance right now is from uh, noon to sunset uh, Wednesday afternoon. And the chance is only 40% right now, so... For the most part, we're going to end up missing it here in Jackson. Now, our friends to our north, like toward Missouri and Kentucky, that might be a different story up there for them. So those folks up in that area might ought to be a little bit more cautious than, uh, than we will have to be here in the Jackson area. At least that's the way it appears right now. But stay tuned because you know how easily and quickly the weather can change uh, its mind. Alrighty, that's it for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching and viewing and subscribing and leaving some nice comments. And I hope to get a chance to give you an update again tomorrow night. And until then, may good night and may uh, God bless you.